In part two, we've got a star guest who'll be transformed into a 70s rocker who played with both Dwayne Eddy and Pat Boone before going on to form his own very successful band. Do you think you can rise to the challenge and guess who it might be? Don't go stale over the break and I'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs> But our star guests are so stunning, there should be a government health warning saying danger. Jiggling about to these funky tunes can seriously damage your sofa. So watch with care, because we've still got two knockout star guests to come. Now, remember the 70s rocker I mentioned? He played with Dwayne Eddy and Pat Boone. Did you rise to the challenge, or did you go, ooh, crumbs, I can't think? Well, don't worry. Star guest number four will tell all. Welcome to Manchester. I'm Mark Roberts. This is the job I've done for the last 20 years. What my job actually involves doing is supplying replacement parts for motor vehicles. I can't actually see myself doing anything else. Um, I've done the job now since, since I actually left school and I thoroughly enjoy doing it. I'm really looking forward to going on to Stars in Their Eyes. Uh, it does seem to have taken over all my spare time at the moment. I'm singing morning, noon and night, getting as much practising as I possibly can. I'm loving every minute of it. What I'm looking forward to most is going through the doors. It will be a memory that I'll treasure, and I'll never forget it. Once he gets into our spotlight, he won't feel like a spare part. Please welcome Mark Roberts. <laughs> right. Now, you said you practice your singing morning, noon and night. Yes, How I does do, that go think. down? Um, they're all pretty annoyed, but in a nice way. Oh, annoyed in a nice way? Yeah. Oh. They're tolerant of me. Oh, well, they're very patient with you, you see. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure I'd be that patient. Oh, I don't know whether I would, actually, because the song you're singing tonight is lovely. Yeah, it's a very nice record. Mind you, after 50 or 60 times, you'd get fed up of anything, wouldn't you, really? <laughs> What's your ambition? Well, Matthew, my ambition has got to be to see the artist that I'm going to portray tonight. I've been a fan of his for 20 years, and I'd love to get to see him. And eventually, I'd like to have my own group on the same lines as his group. Give us a few clues about the person that you're going to be. Well, Matthew, as a 70-year-old, he actually played backup for the famous Chuck Berry. Yes. And amongst other artists, the famous Julio Iglesias covered his famous hit song, If. So who are you going to be tonight, Mark? Well, tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be David Gates of Bread. David Gates with a soulful rock number tonight. Singing live, Mark Roberts is David Gates.
It's just great, you know. I think with a voice like that, you can rehearse that as often as you like. <laughs> just excellent. You're halfway to your ambition now, aren't you? I hope so, yeah. I hope so too. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Roberts as David Gates. <laughs> well, have you made up your mind which one of our talented star guests is your favourite yet? Well, don't, because we haven't seen star guest number five. <laughs> Our guests are fab, and it's down to our studio audience to find the fabbest. Not an easy task. Before they do the deed, there's just time to remind ourselves of all tonight's star performances. First was Liverpudlian personnel manager Brian Cleary as Harry Seacombe. And we'd sing of the joy every morning would bring. Then it was the turn of tennis ace Sam Seymour as Anne Wilson. Next, we had Hotel Chambermaid Beverly Tildesley as Judy Garland. Stop, stop, stop when my heart strings. Then Bolton lad Mark Roberts as cool rocker David Gates. I'd like to make it with you. Finally, a dose of musical medicine from Ross Coward as Dr. Roberts. It doesn't have to be that way. Can't delay the moment of truth any longer. Studio audience, cast your votes now. While our audience decide the fate of tonight's star guests, sending one of them to our live final, let's find out backstage how they felt it all went. If Harry's watching, Nicky Nicky no! At first I was really nervous, but once I got on that stage, it just felt like a superstar. It was absolutely fantastic. I loved it. I'm so short-sighted anyway. It was just complete and utter blur. And I just thought, where are those steps? Everybody's been first class. I'd hate to be the person that would have to choose the winner. Whoever wins, congratulations to them, because they deserve it. They really do. There they all are, on tenterhooks. So will it be Harry Seacombe, Anne Wilson, Judy Garland, David Gates, or Dr Robert? And the winner is David Gates. You OK? Yeah, fine. I've never quite seen a reaction like that. <laughs> or a non-reaction. <laughs> you look completely stunned. Yeah, I am. Are you? Yeah. You sure you're all right? Yeah. Well, I can't believe what's going on. <laughs> you can't believe what's going on? No, no well, it's you. Mean. It's you and you deserve it. And I've got news for your friends, family and relatives. Mark will now be practising at least 60 <laughs> times a day until the live final. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. You were terrific. Thank you very much. And you very much. you're nearly there to your ambition as well. See, and once again, we've had 45 minutes of unforgettable showbiz and a night that Mark is going to remember for quite a long time, I think. 
In just a few weeks, he'll be back to join, amongst others, R. Kelly, Cher, Gary Barlow, for the 1998 Stars in Their Eyes Live Grand Final. Until then, we'll leave you with the laid-back sounds of Mark Roberts singing live as David Gates. I'll see you next week. Good night. Thank you. Really reaching out for the other side or Maybe climbing on rainbows But baby, here goes Dreams therefore go to sleep Life, it's for us to keep And if you're wondering like to appear on Stars in Their Eyes, please call 0990-665544. And who knows, our famous doors could open for you. No.